Okay, you ready to go in there? Go have fun. Okay, go in there and go have fun, okay? Go in. Yeah. All right, so I got a question. Somebody asked this question. I thought I would do a video. I have the opportunity to go to either the UK or Canada. I'm working with an agent. The agent is convincing me to go to the UK. He said he can get me a job there as a caregiver. And um, he's handling the process for me and all of that. This is from somebody, okay, somebody. Somebody sent this, I didn't want to reply. I decided to do a video. Um, but my friends are also saying I should come to Canada. Choco, I'm confused. Where should I go? First of all, I will say that you should make the decision based on your personal aspirations, what you're looking for, all right? The reasons you are moving for could be different from the reasons I moved. For me, I moved to cure poverty, you see, to banish poverty, to crucify poverty, to box poverty in a corner and give it a knockdown. That was my reason for living. I didn't come here for sightseeing. I didn't come here to go and view skyscrapers. I didn't come here to go and look for boyfriend, girlfriend, go to club, go and no, 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 no. I came here for serious business, economics, economic business. That is why I came here. Now, the reason why you are, in fact, when I was coming, I came through school. School was what I used to enter. But behind, at the back of my mind, the officer, either he knew or he didn't know me, I knew I was running away. <laughs> I was running away from. <laughs> poverty <laughs> yeah this is not to say when i came here automatically uh, then my poverty just got wiped away no i had to go through a process of taking action to you know get to where i am now not fully where i want to be but i'm in a process now your reason for wanting to go to uk is different first it looks like you're going for a job so if the opportunity you're being presented in the uk gives you a job and you're moving it straight to work versus the opportunity in Canada. Are you getting a job here? A legit job, a legit company, verified? What are the salaries? Maybe you can compare the two and decide where you want to go to. If the UK fits into your plan, go ahead and go for it, okay? Secondly, I want you to go in there and go have fun. Just go in the Sorry, extension is disconnecting a bit, so I may have to switch the mobile data. Let me know if the Wi-Fi is looking, if the connection is unstable, let me know, so I can switch to the mobile data. Okay. Otherwise, I'm just here right now with my boy, and uh, we, we're having. Yeah, the weather is not too bad, so I decided to. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I, okay. So I've decided to switch to mobile data now. The the internet is a bit far from where I'm. So anyway. Okay. So that is it. Secondly, guys, hmm, I'm going to tell you something, and this is a fact. F A C T. Yeah, don't look at my hair. I have to visit my barber today or tomorrow. So don't care. Don't care. By Sunday, I will look clean. Yeah? As some of you, they watch me. I know you have been using it to visit. I can't even be living in Canada and looking like me, 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 Nebuchadnezzar. Don't worry. It's your problem. <laughs> it is your problem. It's not my problem. <laughs> All right. All right. So now, um, but in terms of picking Canada versus that's my a shed, by the way. It's not a house. Before somebody goes to ride that, that's a, a house. Look at that house. How can it, it's a shed. Shed. I don't even save anything. It's a shed. I have two sheds. Can you see the other one? Eh? I don't even have one pin inside them. You know, they even use them. Two sheds. They sit for backyard. One is this. And they all belong to me. Hmm? They sit in the backyard. Hmm? So, when do they walk? Assuming you are walking in front of my house right now, you won't see me, you won't see my children, you won't see anybody. Say, Canada is boring. Oh, that's Canada is boring for you. You want me to be roaming in front like a dog? Eh? When there is a spacious space behind like this for us to gel and vibe? Eh? Your own way there, your back, you know, be planting with them, plant for them. See, see where we are on one day. Day back, you know, they see and we they enjoy for here. But you want me to be roaming on the streets so that you say that Canada is fun. You know, so I know they roam for streets, say Canada is not fun. Anyway, so what I'm saying here is that, look, when it comes to UK, Canada, yeah, there are some things that are facts, F-A-C-T, meaning if you Google it, Google will tell you the same thing. There are some things that are also subjective. 
Subjective means it differs from people to people. Here is the number one fact. The number one fact is that the UK maintains its sport as one of the most easy to assess countries in the world. Fact. Easy. Why? Geographically, its location makes it an easy place for people in the global south to want to move to. Geographically. Historically, it has also been the ideal place for a lot of people from the global south. Just because of our relationship from as Commonwealth countries most of the time. So if you study it carefully, you notice that this whole noise about Canada, Canada, it just started about five, six, seven years ago. Some few years back, many of us didn't even know about Canada. Some of us didn't even know where Canada was loca is located on the map. Me, I didn't know. I had a degree. I didn't know where Canada was. You can laugh and laugh. I didn't know. Even when I was applying, I thought Canada was in Europe. <laughs> By the me where they carried my passport to Deo. <laughs> this year. Because Charlie, with the grow up, oh, it be UK, 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 Germany, UK, 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 Germany, USA, UK, 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 Germany, yeah. USA. You see him? Uh -huh. So when I old school people, oh, it be UK, where did they go? 30 years ago, every bugger, every bugger, it be UK, they go. You see him? Canada, it be small boy. It come traveling matter. Canada okay. be small boy. See him? Uh -huh. Now, Canada, historically, has also doesn't have the history of receiving so many immigrants from the global south like they have now. But watch what I'm saying. In the past, movement was more of global south people Daddy. were moving to Europe, especially UK. Daddy. Now, Daddy. in Canada, it wasn't about global south people Daddy. moving here. You know what it was? It was more of global north people, people from Europe, moving Daddy. from Europe to Canada. That's why you come here, you see plenty, plenty white people. Daddy. You don't know where. See, Joe Biden, in father, in mother. It's, you know where they come from? Ireland, you see. Go, go then go study them in history. Donald Trump or them or... See. So those times, no. Them, the Caucasians, no. They, 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 they migrate. They, they migrate from Europe, then they come to North America. Uh -huh. You see Germany, especially during the Nazi, you know, those times, no. During the times of the instability in Europe, people were moving. And as they move, now they, they go... Global South, though, they, they moved there, even be North America where they come. Because around that time, the US, Canada, and other places presented a better option in terms of a stable economy. That's why we have a lot of white people in this part of the world. So most of the people in the US or the people who were, who, were, who were refugees from their own countries in Europe. Today, today, the new version of refugee movement no, or movement of people from Europe no, is actually from the eastern side of Europe, like the Ukraine, you know. You know, Yugoslavia, you know, all those countries where they did there, you know, Russia. You go see people, they move from Eastern Europe. And if they are moving, we are not even moving mostly to Western Europe. They are moving actually to North America. So the I movement, and this, you know what I tell you? I don't want to make you understand how migration they look like. So some time back, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, if you wanted anybody to travel, Canada wouldn't have been an option. It wouldn't have been. Because we seeing color like this we know in fact the only blacks who love Daddy, that place do, 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 okay, let me put it in perspective do, do. see jamaicans caribbeans eh? if you see them plenty of them they did europe because 40 50 years ago this be where my grandfathers all they migrate to commonwealth affiliation hmm? british colonies everybody was going there you didn't see them but right now no the trend change though the trend change you know where the trend is right now no for people with a choice. I did use my words, I did explain them where we make you understand them. You want to go jump over here? Yeah. Get up and then, yeah, on this side. Go on this side. Can you go get that one for me? The blue. Good. Go get it. Good. All right. You see, there is something we call migration based on choice and migration based on necessity. Now, migration based on choice, you no, know, you have options. You choose. So this gentleman with the, who is asking me the question, it'd be like, say, you get options. You get UK, you get Canada. If they do blue bed, blue bed, which one should I choose? You like this, if you be somebody where you find yourself in a situation where you could go anywhere else, then carefully pick a place you want to go to based on your personal choice. 
your personal aspirations, what you want for yourself, what you want for your family, which country will give you the best. If it is UK, bro, go there. If it be Canada too, go. You see, um, when we get some people with the man movement, you know, it be based on necessity. They no get choice. Somebody did right now, he, he no get the two countries where he will go because he no get. So you, you did that way, you no get. If Togo come away, if Togo they knock self, go. <laughs> you no get option. You didn't see what I read out. You no get option. Sudan self knock, go. Burkina self knock, go. South Africa self knock, you go, go. You didn't see Because you no get choice. You no get choice means they challenge the thing they look self, you no get. Uh -huh. The people where they get plenty of options, then where they go sit down, they analyze, analyze which one is better, which one is better. Hey. You know, get choice, they give you Brazil, seven, you know, go. Yeah. You did, they know, get choice, passport, seven, you know, get some of the money you could take by this, they throw, throw, first, seven, you know, get somebody give you Brazil, you know, go. <laughs> somebody give you Sierra Leone, you know, go. <laughs> you see, um, when it comes to those with a choice, here is what you need to know. The UK has a strategic location that allows you to access the whole of Europe without stress. That advantage, we Canada, we know should I get on like that. Even though somebody holding a Canadian passport can easily move around the whole world, somebody who lives in the UK has an ease of moving within Europe. You know, Europe, for example, is almost a borderless continental. Apart from one or two places where you go, go where they get, you know, That's Russian star borders for there like that. Europe. Daddy. Yes, John Henry. You having fun? Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's easy to travel within Europe. Europe is also not that big. It's very small. Yeah. Go and look at the size of the whole of Europe. And then even compared to the size of just Canada alone, you go, no, Europe be very, very small. So today you can be here, tomorrow you are in, or in the next two hours you are in Netherlands. In the next three hours, you are in France. In the next one and a half hour, two hours, you are in Germany. Very simple. Movement is easy. Transportation, one of the best in the world. You can go uh, with a train. You can drive. You can do borders have no day. Immigration officers have no day border. You just go before you go realize, no, from UK, you are in France. Before you go realize from France, no, you did Luxembourg. So easy to travel within Europe. Yeah, Canada, it will be easy to travel around. You know why? The land is big pass. The land for here is big. We said we did Canada, we don't know if you enjoy or we are telling the truth. The land is big. You know, they believe me, just go on map. Go go take a map and look at the size of Ontario alone. You see how many countries from Europe go fit inside Ontario. Plenty. Plenty. Plenty countries from Europe. Go fit enter just one province for here. You see how? Because Canada big. And Canada is, because of the size of Canada, no, it's not a place that encourages train systems connecting all provinces. We don't have anything like that here. It's strange. The way in Europe you can have trains connecting everywhere, you know what I mean? You know, here, on our trains, they are mostly in big cities, like the Toronto, the Vancouver, you know, big places. But in Europe, this is a lifestyle. So the incentive to even drive in Europe is very less because you can easily move around. Only, the incentive to drive is so low because movement is so easy within Europe. Movement is so today, even if you are not a citizen of uh, any European country or UK self, we you get your visa, you go feel move, go anywhere, almost all the places, except for one or two places, so we then get restriction. But most of the time, you go feel move, go anywhere, borderless continent. That advantage, Canada doesn't have. In fact, even though we, the USA self, where we they here, we be neighbor. Canada, the only neighbor we get, you know, it be the ocean plus USA. Ocean, USA. You, know, you remove USA, it be ocean where we get. You see, but even that one self, the US people, they know they make them border free, make people where they day here, they just go cross. So listen carefully. I know some people go misunderstand, so make I explain. Here we get two kinds of people for here. We get people who are citizens and non citizens. You see, we we will be citizens for here. We they go US, we don't get a problem. I go fit carry my driver's license like this go enter US right now. You see? Because I'll be citizen. See him. Uh -huh. But you we day here where you be permanent resident holder or visa holder. You always will need a visa to enter USA. You always need a visa. But you say if you be visa holder for UK right now, you carry your this thing, boom, you enter Spain. You see him. That'd be the advantage where Europe get where we don't get for here. And I don't see it coming that these people they go remove the border like that. 
Because you see, see, they remove the border small for some places. You see how the refugees from Brazil, they started <laughs> pop and enter like that. So I don't trust it. They will get to a point where they go remove the border, the border checks and things, you know. You see, um, yeah, USA, they there, you know. <laughs> Insecurity issues, see plenty. Everybody be enemy of the USA. <laughs> Everybody. Unless one or two countries. So they there, or everything be tight in border or anything. <laughs> They watch everywhere with <laughs> yeah, that's all that is. okay. It's a much better place when it comes to movement, it's a much, much better place when it comes to getting access to other countries. In fact, getting a UK visa, I think, could also be much, much easier. The proof of funds requirement could be way, way where the financial state, uh, state bank statement requirements and stuff, financial asset requirement could be way, 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 way easier compared to that of Canada. So that the UK also had a lot more quality universities you know when we mentioned the cambridge and you know oxford and all of that they are all in the uk isn't it uh, they have a lot more a lot more options for schooling a lot a lot more and relatively maybe the prices there could even be slightly cheaper than that of canada here um grocery wise my understanding is that it could be cheaper buying some things in uk compared to canada um clothing for example brand brand products you can buy brand products in the UK, brand shirts and stuff like that in UK, we really cheap compared to that of how much we pay for the same thing here in Canada. So it's a little bit of a rip off if you are doing consumer index analysis comparing UK to Canada, right? In terms of rent, I'm not sure where to put Canada and the UK. Now, some people say it's a bit expensive renting in the UK compared to Canada. Others also think that depending on where you live in the UK and depending on where you live in Canada, the rents could differ. Maybe they are more, they are almost close but here is what is a fact you cannot come and challenge me on this it's a fact and i'm telling you, you cannot change challenge me on this not because i know it all because the truth is the truth even if you are paying for the same accommodation in the uk two bedroom three bedroom in a comparable city do you understand what i'm saying comparable let's say london to toronto St. Catharines to a smaller city, south, whatever, name it. The square footage that you get, the square footage and the access to open spaces you get within your space is way better in Canada. Way, probably 100 times better than the UK. What, what am I, this drama, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, UK, the my rooms be too small like pigeonhole, pigeonhole. The maroons be too small. You they pay plenty, you know they get space. Backyard self. You see this one where we they get for here like this. Eh? Oh, they get backyard go ye frontage, go ye like this. No, this may be luxury for UK. It be luxury. Even if you go to their secondary cities, and it makes a lot of sense. It's not like I'm saying this just to jive the UK and make the UK look bad. It's a fact. The reason is I look for a, for a place of UK with about 70 million people. Right? And the land size, it is just normal to think and no, understand that, look, their land will get stretched. Their land will get stretched. See, all this ladder way you go get. See, you, 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 you get your garage. You see, this one is my garage with that too. My garage with that. See, see, my driveway alone this. I go fit 12 cars for this driveway. 12 cars. Make I go the back there, make I show you where. And Chokwa is not saying that everybody has... Everybody has this kind of space. So I'm trying to make, I day secondary city. Secondary city means not as big as your London. Not as big as your, your Toronto or Vancouver. I'm about one hour away from those places. But secondary cities, you see the beauty. You know, when you watch, you notice that people have a lot of space for parking. You see, that man has a white track in there, but you can still see how much space he has on the front. And it's a double space driveway, by the way. Double space. You see, I'm double low. Double space be that. So, me, my own way, I take day here. Me, my driveway, they are the feet 12 cars. No, be sad, a joke. 12 cars, we are going fit for here. This driveway, they see for here. It be 12 cars. See the size of the driveway. You see, I'm 12 cars, where are the feet parked for this driveway. Six or one size is on the other side. And on top of that, remember that I have a garage. The garage have nothing the inside right now. <laughs> so, imagine if, if, if I want, I can actually keep this car in the garage. Garage day. But wait a minute, if we were to even forget about comparing the price of assets city by city, who is going to give you this kind of space in UK? Who? If you didn't watch them uh, videos, you watch them on uh, streets. You go, see the streets, they be narrow, skinny. Parking is a big deal for UK, man. It's a big deal. 
You see people with a puff on the shoulder like that. You know why? The reason is that the place is choked. That's a fact. The place is choked. Hmm? The garage there has have not put anything for inside yet. You see him? Hmm? This garage there has have not put anything. It just be old things where we put for here. You see? Uh -huh. So my point is that the UK will not be. In fact, in all of the Western world, the number one place per chocolate millionaires own. So don't go and quote me and say some somebody me me my own analysis. The number one country in the Western world where you can have access to space if you buy a house. Space is called the United States, USA. You watch USA well. You go see somebody in house a day, backyard, big like farm, big city. Oh. Nobody say they small city or village. Oh. They big city, backyard, big. Front, space, plenty. Those kind of luxurious space, you will not find it in UK. Queen Elizabeth, UK, you will find it there. If you find it there, you got to be a million pound homeowner. Who is going to give you that? So you go see them our rooms, very, very small. UK room, small, living area, small. Ah, you know how me these things so can surprise me. Somebody came to visit us. The person came from the UK. He came my living room. He said, hey, your living room is big. I said, ah, what do you mean? He said, in UK, we don't have this kind of living room. He said, yes. That's somebody from the UK telling me this. And when you watch, you know. Is it? Uh-huh. We, we they have basement for here where we go. We put additional apartment for the basement, underground. But you know, say UK, they they have that concept they they, they build into uh, the top mm, what they call the attic space right i think that is where they have us there so you go see say some of them are houses they the top they look like triangle be like that uh -huh. short you know yes it, basically every country and how they build every country and how they build i just think the united states holds the spot for being one of the countries in the world or it's not even fair to say in the world in the global north with a lot more square footage for housing when i go to certain places or when i see friends who live in georgia friends who live in other places and you see their backyard it is nothing to be compared to what i have here their backyard is a whole acre on its own front a whole acre space go here go texas austin you go and find our african brothers and sisters who own houses if they will go next people get house see i'm land big well, if they tell you the price of you go, this is the price of you know be that expensive like that 200, 300, 200, 300. So, so we said we go fit talk say for Canada seven houses be more expensive than our brothers in the USA. Why? Every country has its own advantages. UK is not going to be the place for you if you are somebody looking for a big space. You know why this is a big deal? Maybe you are coming in with five children, four children, a family of five, family of six. For you to get the kind of space that will fit into your kind of idea, especially if you be middle class person, where you get your own mansion for back home, you know, you have your own boys' quarters back home, all those things back home. You go UK for you to get something close to that, you're looking at over two thousand pounds, bro, two thousand, three thousand pounds for you to get three, four, five bedroom, giving you that kind of space. It's a lot of money. So what happens is that a lot of people who are middle class folks or rich people, when they get to the UK, they now have to downsize to maybe a two bedroom, smaller space. And it, it, those, that, that's where the stress begins to come in, right? So if you are a single person moving to the UK, definitely work for you. If you're a family person going there, just remember, in terms of spacing and housing, you may not get a better deal if you compare to other countries there. The other one, um, health. I think Canada's healthcare is so similar to that of the UK. They both operate what is called the universal health insurance policy. In Canada here, healthcare is universal and it's free. When I say free, it doesn't mean that you are not involved in any way in terms of payment. It simply means that your taxes that you pay, direct taxes and indirect taxes, are used to provide healthcare for you. So we don't pay for healthcare here in Canada. And, and you have to be in a certain category of uh, being uh, a resident in Canada to enjoy this. The same thing applies in the UK. For example, you are either a citizen in Canada to enjoy this or a permanent resident to enjoy this, or you are an international student. Most international students will get their health coverage from their schools. I repeat, if you are an international student, your school would have provided you with health insurance. 
university is called yes university health insurance program which is called uhip uhip university health insurance and colleges they normally go with private insurance policies uh, one of the most popular ones is called guard me guard me so if you're in Niagara college if you're in seneca college you may be on a guard me it covers you to some extent it covers about 80 percent or more of your health needs especially when it comes to urgent care needs about 80 percent or more of that some schools even provide an additional 20 percent um some private cares will provide that but at least you're getting about 80 percent coverage of all your health, health needs now just to be clear when we say universal health care it has a meaning in the countries you are in in canada universal health care means no payment for hospital visitations no payment for hospitalizations if you get admitted in a hospital no payment no payment for doctor treatments in the hospitals no payment for emergency health care issues in other words if you have health care issue you don't make a payment for it and it's all covered by your health care uh, no payment for deliveries in a hospital no payment for that the only thing you may pay for is when you opt for a private ward to sleep as a new mother who has delivered otherwise there is a general ward where you share with about six seven other people a big room and everybody has their own side properly demarcated and it's free you don't pay for that all right uh, so these are the things now however cosmetic surgery is not covered as part of the health insurance here in canada it's not what is that non-elective surgery what is that when you choose to go and do your own i want to go and fix my bum i want to go and shape my nose like you know kim kardashian i want to go and remove my teeth and make it like you no know, uh -huh. those ones if you now you go they go do your own thing that one you now you go pay your own thing but so long as it's considered an essential surgery a health care that is necessary you don't pay you get you get that uh -huh. so you can't school right now we've international student enrolled right we you get ulcer or you don't give birth they have to go hospital guaranteed you know they pay <laughs> you know go pay but these are all essential you no know, we say you now where you to say you know you see what i mean uh -huh. One of our Ghanaian sisters who came here had a stomach ulcer, rushed to the hospital. Later on, they realized it was more than a stomach ulcer. They had to do surgery. All of that, zero dollar payment. All of that, hospital, everything, zero. Now, the UK also has the same thing. But my understanding is that the UK is not entirely free. There are things in the UK that they will let you pay. Those of you who are in the UK, you can educate us more on that. But my understanding is that the UK's health insurance process or program there may be a little bit of a cash and cash healthcare um, I don't want to miseducate anyone here so if you know a little bit more let me know what is a fact is that in Canada it is not free if it is non-elective surgery otherwise anything blood heart heart basically any surgery which is considered critical for your ability to live as a human being forget it. you won't pay one couple Choco say so in fact most Canadians will even get free dental care. The government has introduced all kind of dental care. Well, you can even go and, you know, you know, say where we, where we really come from. We know they see dentists like that. You see them. Uh -huh. We chew on a thing, look mirror inside. Uh, they look good, they move. You see them. I hear because there is a serious culture of smoking here. People, they visit them at dentists, pass anything. Uh, you go, you say, where you go? Say, my tooth is killing me. It's easy. They go see dentists because. Smoking is a big culture here. You know, smoking affects your teeth, so people tend to see the dentist more. Um, in fact, I don't often see the dentist because I just look at myself and say, I don't have a problem. But the truth is, these things are all covered. Now, if you happen to also work with a very, very good company, they could even cover what we call your prescriptions. Prescriptions. What is that? It simply means that if you go to a hospital and you have been attended to in a hospital, you don't pay. But if the doctor writes certain medications for you to go and get those ones you may have to pay out of your pocket so there are a couple of ways around that uh, depending on your age your immigration status in canada you could apply for a drug policy from the government or the province where you live in to help you cover a significant portion of the medication so you go and buy and you pay just a small amount the government covers the rest or if you are working with a company that has a drug policy or insurance you could cover i am very fortunate where i work if i buy my medications from the, the drugstore or wherever i just put it on my company's insurance and then it covers a significant portion of it right my company even covers my dental appointments and stuff like that there is to understand what i can go and do at the dentist me and my whole family and i don't have to provide so this is how a, your employer plus the government goes to cover the government covers the critical health care for you for free 
and then anything else that could be maybe you buy medicine you doing some other things your company where you work could cover those ones so at the end of the day it makes it look almost like you're not spending on healthcare. i've given birth to two kids here and i never had to pay a dime in fact i slept in a private ward where we had a whole room to ourselves when my wife delivered we didn't have to pay for that because my company paid for that we could have opted for a general ward where we shared a room with other people but because my company provides the coverage for that we chose a private ward and it was covered by a company my company as well right so that is one of the things there in the uk they have a healthcare insur uh, insurance program there but but it could be maybe canada could have a slight advantage what is a fact is that both of them are not the best in the world <laughs> Both of them are, are not the best. Of course, you can get a doctor here, they can attend to you and all of that, but they, they are both worse when it comes to emergency <laughs> care. What is that? In both countries, in both the UK, hmm? in both the UK, good. In, in, in both the UK, hmm? in both the UK and uh, in Canada, they are emergency sucks. S U C K S. Sucks means terrible. Canadian emergency, horrible, horrible. What do I mean? Unless ambulance carry you go hospital, or unless you go hospital where you faint. When you go, you are going to be waiting in line. Eh? Minimum three, four, five, six hours in for emergency care. Recently, I carried my daughter Joanna. Now you know the feel where we are carrying and go emergency. That one said we stay there for what, five, six hours or so. Emergency be that too. So unless for them, no emergency, they de prioritize their things. <laughs> If you are not really at the point of death, then no go rush you go inside. And it's not like they are really keeping you sitting down for just sitting down sick. They don't have a lot of doctors. They don't. Canada doesn't have a lot of doctors. And for some stupid reason, they are not even making any effort to make it easy for people to become more doctors. And partially, I think it's a budget issue because doctors get so much salary. You know what I mean? Two, three hundred thousand. So imagine you adding 10, that's over a million dollars already in budget. You know what I mean? So I think it's more of a fine policy decision where they feel that, of course, we're providing free healthcare, but if we have an abundance of doctors too, then it means the government gets to pay so much, right? So they are trying to manage the doctor-patient ratio, but it doesn't help with emergency care. Emergency care is horrible in Canada. Anybody who lives here will tell you this. Imagine you going to the hospital because you have an emergency woe unto you if the ambulance did not deliver you there if an ambulance takes you inside they will attend to you if ambulance not deliver you go where you now you drive your car go when they ask what's wrong with you say my tummy is hurting me they prepare to sit for five six hours <laughs> they will attend to all the people with serious emergencies before they come to you most likely the same stuff in the uk it sucks so some people have had to cross the border sometimes to go get some other you know health issues taken care of there are canadians here who say we cannot wait for a long time to get access to certain health care because of the waiting time so they will go to turkey some of them will even go to the united states and pay for it and get it done faster of course it's free but the free means that people should be able to get it when they want to and sometimes it doesn't happen like that most of the time as you say in both the uk and canada but given where i'm from given the fact that where i'm from who gets to live is about who has the money i'm okay with what i get here i'll repeat given the fact that where i am from the only kind of insurance that worked there for me was what i call trinity insurance you know trinity insurance god the father god the son god the holy spirit insurance if you don't have that one forget it when you are sick be who? Uh, uh, when you are sick, they could buy you you see him uh -huh. they could die you you don't get money, you go die. Me, I they tell you, some places, if you don't have money, you will still survive. So I would rather choose here than another place where money determines who is alive. See, I'm, uh -huh. So if it be UK, they won't go then. You, Canada, guarantee say you go get healthcare. Unless you be undocumented. Or not documented means unless you did your visa, die. Well, you just they hide, hide. Did they hide, hide, that one there, you know, be covered. You see, I'm, it be so. All right. Final reason, probably the most important reason. Between Canada and UK, where should I go to? Where should I go to? Canada, blue bed, blue bed. Where should I go to? If your number one reason is to secure immigration documents, such as one, a permanent residency, 
to become a permanent resident of the UK, what they call leave to remain, or what we call permanent residency in Canada. Or number two, if your number one reason for migrating to these two countries, or if one of the top reasons why you want to move to UK or Canada is to become a British national holding a British passport, or to become a Canadian citizen, if that is the key thing driving your motivation to move, please don't choose UK. It's horrible. Choco says so. All those who don't understand, let them go and kiss the pole. Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> if it be papers where they want, don't go to UK. It's horrible. Wait time. It's more than emergency healthcare. It's more than going to emergency and staying for six hours. You wait. You wait. It doesn't matter which status you go in there with. It doesn't matter if you went there as a student. It doesn't matter if you went there as a health worker, critical health worker. You wait, 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 wait before you get that, you know. I can guarantee you, before you get that British passport, close to 10 years. <laughs> close to 10 years. Close to 10 years. Who on to you if you live up to that 10 years? If you don't end up dying, no problem. If you don't end up relocating from there, no problem. But for you to get it, be prepared to shave close to 10 years. <laughs> but wait a minute. How about Canada? Choco. If you come here as a student or as a permanent resident, you are likely going to get this all in less than five years, maximum five years. Choco will they tell you so. Anybody who says that they like, comment in the comment section and give me reasons why. I can give you different scenarios why in Canada you can get your citizenship and everything all within five years. UK, long. If you be student for UK, where you finish, they will migrate it to post, post study uh, visa. I know be so. How long do you have to stay there? Close to five years, maybe less than that. On post study visa for close to five years, that's too long, man. It's too long. So you did the way. So you did that five years where you did post study visa. If your girlfriend punch you like this, you have to say sorry. Anybody do this, you for behavior because if you mess up, they go kick you out of that place right away. Five years of good behavior, good boy, good good girl behavior. You cannot mess. Uh -huh. You see, huh? because your status be shaky, they can kick you out any time. So from the post study, you are now going to move to what? Live to remain. You know, be so. Correct me if you are in the UK and I'm getting some of the terms wrong. Live to remain. That one to be another how many years? Then from live to remain, which is your permanent residency, to citizenship. Okay, you if you know the one set ambitious go for yourself but you just put plus five some people have to even wait for another 10 years or so it's too long bro here in canada we know they do answer here in canada you see how it is you come here as a student where you did college one or two years you are done you're already on your postgraduate work permit now as you do on postgraduate work permit within the next 12 months you're already a permanent resident you are already a permanent resident within one year after leaving school within one year after leaving school you're already a permanent resident it is here okay now, when you become a permanent resident, all you need to do is to wait for an additional two years to apply for your Canadian citizenship. So you go, this is somebody who come here within five years now, they're holding passport. You see, right? the process here will be more faster. In fact, if I am not blowing my name, maybe if there are other countries I can pick, Finland has some advantages as well. A few other countries in Europe also have some advantages. Portugal, for example, a stream like Portugal is one of the greatest places to also get your, your passport, you know. But between Canada and UK, Forget about UK. Put the UK aside in terms of immigration, in terms of transitioning from visa to permanent resident to UK. The UK is horrible. In fact, go on Google and do a simple research. Google will tell you that the number of people who are British nationals who are leaving UK to Canada is more than the number of Canadian citizens who are moving to. In fact, the way it looks right now is that we are actually the ones receiving people from the UK. This is not in any way to say Canadians are not moving to the UK. Canadians are also moving to the UK, but the numbers are more. For a lot of people, they want a bigger economy. UK's economy is not as big as Canada and the United States. Canada's location and close proximity to the US makes these two countries here have the, one of the biggest economies in the world. UK's economy has advantage. In terms of jobs, UK has a lot more tech jobs. 
So most of the tech jobs are located in the UK. Canada has a lot more industries and you know, service, uh, service industries here, uh, a lot more of the financial industries here as well. UK has a lot more of uh, the tech industries there. But overall, immigration-wise, Canada is hands down. In fact, for all of you who are watching this, the main reason why a lot of people are coming to Canada is not because of the weather. It's not even because of all the things I talked about. It'd be the paper, immigration document, the PR. You see him? The citizenship. There are people who have lived in the UK for several years. They don't get that. Okay. Now, do you, know, know, do, you, do, you, do you want to know what is the worst of them? This one is the worst. The worst of it is that if you find yourself by miracle or by juju, eh, or by teleportation in UK right now, where baby come out from your ties, come out, say, me, where you born and for that? Your baby no be citizen. That thing I don't understand. I mean, we useless pass. Wait, I'm telling you when you give birth in the UK, your child is not automatically a citizen. Is that the thing? No nonsense. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. Basically, your child's ability to become a UK national is based on the immigration status of the parents in the UK. That stuff is crap. Guess what? Here in Canada, pay attention to my words. Regardless of your status, regardless of anything, it doesn't matter whether you're a refugee, it doesn't matter where you came through Brazil. It doesn't matter where you, that you jumped through the sky. It doesn't matter whether you entered a Mario Kart game and boom. It doesn't matter whether a Juju man transported you and you got here. So long as your child is born within the borders of Canada, automatic, il est citoyen. It's a citizen. French, you speak. You see him? Uh huh. So that, wait, that one. Only few countries for this universe where did they give that thing? You, know? you won't find it in Saudi. You won't find it in Qatar. You won't even find it in uh, uh, which other countries. Name them. You won't find it there. Only few countries in the world give this opportunity. Where you can arrive today, give birth and your child becomes a citizen. That'd be why you they see you on a politician that they won't give a good citizen. They go, US, US, Canada, US, US, Canada, US, US, Canada. Why? Because they know what it means. They know what it means. But you cannot be so. So most of our people in the UK right now, where my parents no get citizenship, they no get a British passport. Automatically, even though they've given birth to these children there, they have their ascent, they go to school there, they were born in UK hospital, they are still not citizens, man. And some of these children have to wait till they turn, what, 18 or so, before they can apply for their own, you know? It's stressful, man. Do you know what it means? 18 years of working with a target on your back. 18 years of working and feeling like an alien. 10 years of your own parents working and feeling like aliens, man. That stuff doesn't happen. You see my children for here? Uh, they said they became citizens before. In fact, my daughter, you become Canadian citizens before me ever become. Because they born and frustrated straight from the day they born, I'm now in this system, Canadian. Uh, they see them. Uh, they more, born them automatically. Uh, even me, I'll be criminal, self way, then still my child be. And I think this is one of the areas that parents make decision. A parent today will choose to come to Canada teach all the advantages in the UK because they want to first secure the passport of their child. A parent who choose Canada over, or a parent who choose United States over UK because they know if I give birth to my child in the US, automatically that child is a citizen. And it opens all kind of, you don't have to wait for the next 10 years. You don't know what kind of nonsense is going to happen. You don't want to wait for the next 18 years. Eh? And when we have another World, 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 world Trade Center, then they will change all their policy and they say, hey, all of you. You see how they, they change policy everywhere, left, right, and say they can't allow people from here to come in. So the earlier, you see, that'd be why. If you, you know, be a rich man where you don't get all your monies for this world inside finish, where you don't get what you go eat already. If you travel, go to the Western country, the first thing for secure be your paper. So you don't go secure your papers where you go night, day, night club, go they do keba show, eh? You go day, night club, go they woo man, they, 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 they visa a day. When you finish, you go and renew your visa. <laughs> thing to do is to grab that passport when you grab the passport when you walk your walking changes mm, you don't walk your walk your walking go change then you get our passport hey they do with me i get my passport that they walk my walking change you say so, hey, i see some spirit and tell me like that see ya. yeah power the inside when you walk you know you are equal see him nobody can talk nonsense to you anymore eh? somebody do you so you go do i'm sorry <laughs> somebody do hey you to go do i'm hey <laughs> He tell you, say, hey, 
go back to your country to Putel and go back to Europe. <laughs> we, are, we are immigrants. We are now this. It is so weird. So immigration wise, hands down, Canada based the UK. In fact, I put it to you that the number one reason why people are coming to Canada is because of its immigration policy. It's not even about just the jobs. It's not even about the immigration. Why? People want a place they can get their papers. People want a place they can break free and travel the world. People want a place they can easily move around, you know? And you know, we, based on where we are coming from, we have too many restrictions when it comes to traveling. Yeah? If you want to travel today, if you are not careful, they will tell you beyond the bank statement, go and bring your gra gra grandmother's in no underwear as proof that you'll come back. You know, go and bring your grandmother's t-shirt as proof that you come back. Is there a family land from 1950 you own proof of asset? Those restrictions, man, everybody must break it. That yoke, we must break it though. If you are a black man watching me and you don't believe in breaking the boundaries, the barriers of traveling, you are a different kind of black man. Oh. I believe even the most Pan-African black man must still be free in this world to travel. And we are not free. That's a fact. There is so much of barrier ahead of us when it comes to traveling. The things we have to jump just so we can get on a plane is crazy, man. That is why you watching me today, if you are traveling to the UK or any other country, your number one objective should be that you remove all the restrictions on the plane. That you can enter into a plane anytime you want to, in the middle of the night, anywhere you want to. Even if you want to drive, drive and go to anywhere in the world you want to. Simple. Simple as that. That's what I, I see. And I've, I've been able to achieve that. I can grab my passport and travel to as many countries today in the world as I want. All I need to do is to hop on a plane. Simple. I don't need a damn bank statement. That stuff is gone. I'll never print a bank statement again. If, if I'm printing it, then it means those, those small, small, small countries where they go to war you, they bring bank statements. Otherwise, 180 something countries free. All I need is to buy my air ticket and go. In the UK, it will take you a longer time to get it. Talk to people who are in the UK, they will tell you. It's going to take you this long to get it. In fact, because of the stress of getting immigration documents, that is why in the UK, one of the most common things you see there is what we call marriage fraud. What is marriage fraud? This is where you see people having to marry. People having to marry just to get papers. They are in school. They went there for school. But they can't wait to finish that four-year program. It's too long. They cannot imagine finishing and going to post-study the visa. Then after that, they have to wait for one. So you see many of our brothers today. They are marrying. People they don't love, they are marrying them. You see divorce rates left, right, and left. Any country where it's difficult for people to get immigration documents, you see common thing marriage, fake marriage. You see them, they say they are married. Forget it. That marriage, nothing they will. Everybody is in a different room altogether. Nobody touches nobody. It's married for immigration. Yeah. And you know this thing is also common in the U.S. too, right? Apart from giving birth and your child becoming a citizen there, you know it's also difficult in the U.S. to also get papers. What well, to you? Unless you win green card where you take and tell You know, win green card where you don't get husband or wife or the way you be citizen for you. It'd be another process on this one, bro. It's another process. Unless you're a skilled worker. Unless you be some skilled worker. Skilled worker means, you know, skilled worker means somebody which your company be value you so much. You be IT guy, you be top health guy, and the company go fight for you to get your green card. And otherwise, you be another you, you, go, you go US right now, Charlie. Marriage of convenience be plenty. People, they pay. People they pay you. I don't rely. People they pay 20k. 20k. Uh, go do marriage. You see, um, 20k they, they pay. You go to UK right now. 20k. 30k. 15,000 pounds. Um, immigration. Why? They are trying to expedite the process. Why? Are it hard? They are trying to make the process faster. The process is too long, too bureaucratic. Germany, the same thing. Make I not bring Germany. Just ask Nancy go cover that one there. Go and follow just ask Nancy. Eh? Germany. You, you wanna 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 guys where did you go there? You go see them today, they marry white. Tomorrow he marry German citizen. You don't understand why? Because if they don't do that, then the people don't get to. So if you might we enter Germany, by first by first, if you go pin your leg, go. <laughs> you go pin the leg in somebody, you go pin a baby. Yeah. You don't understand why. Countries where it's difficult get your documents what you see is that people use dubious ways to game their system they'll find a way to get to the citizens they'll find a way to marry them they'll find even if the marriage is not great this is not to say in canada people don't also do that but the rate at which they me i'm yet to see any student who came here and said 
they were not sure they would get their citizenship and blah 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 so they have to go and marry no unless they choose to go and marry the person otherwise there nobody when i came here nobody could have walked to me to say Choko, i want to marry you so you can do your but dare you damn you i don't need that stuff there my path is so clear like water too clear from student i knew i was going to get my paper simple straight no lungu lungu line straight so if you're watching me and you come to canada here don't let nobody come and propose love to you and tell you get your papers with it you don't need that stuff all you need to do is to finish your program or finish whatever it's clear like a straight line you see i'm no care straight easy see i'm choco says so all right otherwise the uk be a great place i'll see you guys this summer in the uk when i come i'm going to tell you i'm going to listen to you when i come we'll try that borderless continent and see how we did they say border no day we will try Chaka go see you guys. So share this video if you think it's worth it. God bless you.